everybody, welcome to Crafty Chats. Hey, this is the show where we do some crafts. And, and we and we also enjoy a craft beverage. So, um, Adam is the expert um, Expert is the wrong word. Enthusiast of alcohol. Yes. And um, You're the enthusiast of crafting. She wanted me to say expert. Yeah. What are we drinking today? Because hey. I am not excited. Okay, look. Before we get to this drink, I think we need to speak directly to the people. Oh yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I'm pissed. We looked at our analytics. Where and, are you? And you know what? You, no, 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 don't look at him. Where are you? Don't look at him. You haven't subscribed. Where? Click it. I need you to smash the little subscribe button. It's red. I think it has an arrow on it, perhaps. Hey, and you know what? You're like, oh, I don't want to sign into my YouTube account. Okay, listen, Shannon. Google does it for you. It's going to be like three seconds. Make it happen. Open the app, sign in, click subscribe. This is a local business. Where are you? These are trying times. Are you about Walmart and Amazon being the only successful businesses through these hard and trying Trash. You know what? So much so that if you comment, if you like actually participate with us, engage, subscribe, share, talk back to us. Then I don't have to <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that if you make a recommendation, we'll go buy it. Like our good friend Benson Benny. Benson made a recommendation on a gin. And so on today's episode of Craft, Crafty, Crafty Chats. Crafty Chats. So on today's episode of Crafty Chats, we are going to drink St. George Terrar Gin. I heard this is mine out of juniper berries. Okay, St. George Terrar Gin uh, is 45% alcohol by volume. This is lot number GT2019. I think that means that it was made in 2019. Again, okay, so look, I'm not an expert. Um, I do drink gin, but normally the way I drink gin is in a classic gin and tonic with a little lime. That's my fave. So look, let me tell you something about, so Benson made a great recommendation. I had to do a little bit of research on it because I did not know a whole lot about gin. I do drink it, but I don't drink it neat. Um, I've never had it neat, that's what we're gonna do today. And so, but I had to do a little bit of research on the distillery. And um, interestingly enough, apparently St. George Distillery is one of the oldest distilleries in the United States. Wow. And some people say it's the birthplace of craft distilling. I don't know if that's true or not. I heard it on a, on a YouTube review. Do you know what the word terrar means? No. Terrar, terrar, terrar. Do you know what that word there? means? Uh, good guess. No. It means, it is a noun that means the complete natural environment in which a particular wine is produced, including factors such as soil, topography, climate, and the characteristics of all those things are in the tasting notes. Great. Let's get sloshy. Okay, let's get sloshy. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna go neat first, and then if we want to put some ice with it, we'll we'll do some ice. It, th apparently, this is like one of the best gins you can get on the market. Okay, Benson. Yeah. Okay. Um, he he made a good recommendation according to the internets. So this is what we're gonna do. Looks like water. I want you to sniff it. What do you oh. smell? Uh, uh, what do you smell? It's like it's like almost floral. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh my god, I'm so. I'm going to read to you the ingredients. Now remember, terrar means it's made out of local ingredients. So it's made in Alameda, California. So the stuff that's in this is from that region. Are you Not ready for this? Local. Okay. Uh, are you, I think this my Douglas fir. Oh, I get that. Do you? Yeah. It's okay, take a sip. Take a sip. Let's sip it. Okay. That's actually so good. I've never It had... tastes like a tree. Okay, it has tree in it. Literally has tree. Bay laurel. Bay laurel. Fennel. Fennel. Coastal sage. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Right? Ooh. <laughs> Orris root. Angelica root. The one thing Sam knows about gin? Juniper berries. Juniper berries. And uh, other profoundly aromatic botanical ingredients all come together to create a forest in your glass. It literally tastes like I lit a pine tree. <laughs> it's what it's supposed to taste like. Sip it and be transported into the California redwood forest. Oh my god. That's... That did take me on a little bit of a journey. Right? <gasps> it literally tastes like a Douglas fir. 
Yeah, with like some sweetness though. Mm hmm. Actually, hella good. This is really interesting. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you ever uncorked a bottle before? Can we get this ASMR? Listen. Ooh. Okay. But, 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 but prominently display because holla at us, St. George's. Mm hmm. Uh, in California. Okay. Now. Let us begin with the worst part of the episode. No, Sam's part. This isn't the worst part. This is the fun part. This is your clean workspace so that you don't ruin the table any oh. more than you already have. Oh wait, this is not the craft. This is what I work upon. This is what you work upon. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guess what? Chicken butt. We are <laughs> small children. We are Okay, listen, we are going to paint. You know those little beautiful butterflies that you see like taxidermied in a in a frame? Are, do you have dead animals? Uh, dead no, bugs? No, no, no. I mean, I do, gonna, over, I do over there. Are we gonna screw with dead bugs today? No, we're gonna make fake dead bugs out of paint. We're painting today, but luckily, with the magic of Glowforge, full off. Glowforge! Full, 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 like, what do you call it when you Disclosure. confess? Disclosure. Disclosure. Stole this idea from Troy the Maker. I will put a screenshot of his channel. He's amazing. He does all kinds of acrylic crafts. I got my Glowforge, wow. and I, <clears throat> I etched. I etched the shape of a butterfly in a piece of thick let me, acrylic let me that looks like glass. Let me try, let me try. Oh, no, now we just see your hand. Look right there. There it is. Okay. It's it's actually, I don't know if the cameras are going to pick it up, but that is legit gorgeous. Yeah. So we're going to use these score marks to paint a butterfly, and we're going to put it in a picture frame, and it will be a little painted butterfly, oh. and it will leave a shadow on the wall, and almost look like it's a real butterfly shadow. if we don't do a terrible, terrible job. And if you don't have a glowforge, you can just tape a picture of a butterfly to the back of this, and then paint on top. Also, if you don't have a glowforge, you can use the code to get yourself one. Okay, we're gonna go easy, easy. Oh, oh okay, okay. You can if you want. I mean, we would appreciate it because we do have the show. It is not for free. And um, you should. Yes. This is your favorite part. I, look, I started opening it and I said, no, Adam loves No, this is my thing. <laughs> and we got a cute little... ASMR. Yeah. ASMR is supposed to be calming and you just like... I am I am calmed by opening of packages. This is like a little paintbrush cleaner um, bucket that my husband bought me. And Aww. so you can use this as a little palette and you can like put water and put water in here. I feel like the gin just hit me in the head. I feel like it hit me too. Me I've had like sip. half an ounce. It tastes like a Christmas tree. It's so good. It tastes like a Christmas tree with flowers on it. Uh, I'm just, oh God. Okay, here's all the paint. You didn't let me open the packaging. Well, maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank but you. Okay. But this is where you clean your little paintbrush. You don't have to go to the sink. So our design is based off of the amazing monarch. Um, so it is like Earth Day and like monarchs are pollinators and that's amazing. Sure. Um, so what I'm thinking the best method would be is to go in first with the white dots. They're white. If you need to pull up something on your iPad, yes, you can. Yes, I will do that. Google monarch butterfly. I'm literally giving you the instructions on success and you're not even paying attention and I hate this. I don't like it here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some paint on this little wheel. So the first thing we're gonna do is lay down the white dots. Let it dry. Okay. Lay down the black. Let I'm about it dry, it. and then we have to. Then we can do the color. Um, are we painting the bumpy side or the smooth side? I actually said that, but you are too busy being the superstar center of attention. So we're gonna paint the bumpy side. <laughs> this is strong alcohol. What side? Oh, are we done? <laughs> the bumpy side. Bumpy side. Okay, here we go. And so we're gonna let the white dry before we do the next part? Yeah, okay. that way we can just paint on top, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you went so much faster than I. Yeah, because I'm not afraid. Yeah, that's, you're right, you're not. Okay, so we're gonna wait for it to dry and I think you have some sort of quiz. I'm okay, I did prepare dry. something I wanted to know. It's about music. Name two artists, we're both gonna do this. Name two artists you wish you could see live uh, in the following categories. So it can't be people that you've already seen live because I know you've seen like all sorts of people. Um, two dead artists. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, 
easy Kurt Cobain. Oh. In the oh. original Nirvana. That's really good. Oh, oh, easy. Amy Winehouse. <gasps> Excellent answer. Yeah. What's your answer? Oh, it's like now my list is getting longer. Okay, so um, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Ah, oh, yes. I wish I could have seen oh, Stevie David Ray Vaughan. David would have loved David, that shout out to you. I'm a huge Stevie Ray Vaughan fan as well. So is our friend David, our coworker David. Um, and then this one, I, I wish I could have seen Nipsey Hussle before he died, before he was killed two years ago in LA. Um, and but I have a third one that I couldn't decide between Nip and this other one. Uh -huh. I also want to see the Grateful Dead. <gasps> oh, interesting. Because like they were known for their live shows. Mm. So those are mine. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's do. Let's let's. You tell me what to do next, and then I have another category. Okay. All right. Two artists you wish you could see live that had their the height of their popularity in the 90s. Oh, um, well, oh, she's also dead. I've already seen her. It's, no, okay, if, if, it's okay if they're also uh, dead. Selena, number one. Oh, oh God. I, I would never, see, I never saw Selena live. And then also dead, TLC, done. Left Eye Lopez, RIP. Ooh, but then about Alanis Morissette. I know, oh. Alanis, I know. That, they... or, or Blind Melon, or Third, no, Third Eye Blind, Third Eye Blind, Third Eye Blind, Third Eye Blind. Yeah. So Nirvana is on my list, which Third you, already, you already <laughs> got it. Nirvana was on my list, which you mentioned. Kurt Cobain, who's dead. Um, Selena, I think Selena, Selena should just be above this quiz. We should have all seen Selena. Yeah. And then uh, Lauren Hill. Oh. She was such a flash in the pan. One album, you know what I mean? And you know, you know what Hayden loves. Fun fact about Hayden. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Hayden loves Sister Act, and he watches Sister Act too like once a quarter. The last time I was in this household, we literally sat on the couch and watched Sister Act 2. <laughs> starring Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. <laughs> okay, this one, current pop. Well, I don't know if I want to do pop. Current- No, do pop. Popular, current popular. Currently popular artist. <laughs> you laugh. That you what? wish you could see that quarantine has prevented you well, from you know Well, you know the number one. I don't know, what's the number one? Who am I obsessed with? Uh, oh, duh. Of course. Hold on. Pause. That was stupid of me. Billy. Yes, Billy Eilish, 100%. I'm a Billy fan. I'm a Billy stan. We stan Billy. We love her. You have to do two. So, Billy, what else? I think I would have to say Dua Lipa. <gasps> Shut up. Is that yours? Yes. Oh my god. I would, I would get up out of this chair, walk off this set, and go see Dua Lipa. Hey, we're back. Uh, so, not pleased with my progress. Um, they had to like, they all took a break and uh, like went out to dinner while I finished my um, whatever the heck this is. Okay, we're gonna- Hot takes. We're gonna take a uh, game. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a game. We're gonna... right, okay. This is a game. We don't know which one of these is water and which one of these is gin. We're not even looking. We're gonna take each one of these. And we're both <laughs> gonna drink it. We're gonna drink it all at once. And um, straight face. We're gonna be straight face, and you have to guess. And then Lily and Hayden have to guess who had the alcohol. Oh, they're and, guessing. And who had the water? Okay. One, two, three. Are we shooting? Yeah. That she got the alcohol. Yeah. I think it was Adam. Well, that's a 50-50 split. What do you think? Okay, comment down below before you find out. Like Dora. Who do you think shot the gin? <laughs> on the map! I had the gin, I'm so proud of myself! I had the gin! Did you both you get it? You both the gin! <laughs> um, okay, next game. Okay. This is something I want to experiment with on this episode. And then maybe, if y'all like it, subscribe and comment below. Maybe we'll- keep... It looks like a buster fly! A bus fly. It looks like a butterfly. A butterfly is something I've I have the butterflies on my craft. Hot takes. <laughs> hot takes. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Yeah, I don't have any hot takes ready. You always have a hot take. Here's my hot take. Crocs are a legitimate foot apparel. I'm sick of this world 
Shaming croc wearers. I think if you hate on crocs, you've never actually worn them. Because if you put those magical, squishy, beautiful, comfortable, healthy shoes upon your feet, you'd wear them. Hot take. I just have one thing to say. Check the material. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't. Sorry, hit the mic. Check the material. I did not know she had Crocs on. <laughs> but would you wear them in public? No. Nah, Why? Not. Why? Because the stigma stigma. Is stigma. That's your fault. The stigma is real. End Croc stigma. Lily, how do you feel about Crocs? I just popped my first pair. Yes. <laughs> like literally a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Let's talk about garden shoes. Oh, I but. Wear them, you know, so but I you... don't ever wear them in public. Like, Why oh, don't we wear them in public? You know, I wear Crocs every day at home, won't wear them in public. Why? Because of the stigma. stigma. End Croc stigma. <laughs> I'm starting the hashtag right now. This is like the longest. I'm glad we're not doing two episodes. <laughs> Lily's like, I gotta go home. It's yeah. like the so simplest. <laughs> Lily, it's it's literally not just painted. We like, built a whole <laughs> T-Rex in less time. <laughs> and we're spending three hours making paint. Butterflies. We didn't even have to peel the tape. Like, honestly, it's just like paint. It's literally a coloring book. <laughs> it's paint by number. I got it. Oh. <gasps> I accidentally put mine on the tape. Okay, but we gotta finish it. Wait. Okay, how do we finish it? You gotta put it in the frame. Okay, open this. Hurry. We gotta be done. Okay, final step. Once you finish your butterfly, you get a picture frame, and you put the butterfly <laughs> Now, if you didn't have a glow forge, you would literally take the glass out of the picture frame and paint directly on the glass, but because we had a glow... Oh. <laughs> but because we have a glow for it, I learned a lot. We cut. I cut it out to be eight by ten to fit in the frame, and then we're gonna put it inside the frame. Okay. So what am I doing? I'm just re put simply it. replacing. Do I need this? Nope. Okay. And it's paint side up, right? <clears throat> yep. Make sure all your dilly dallies are pushed all the way like backwards. Yeah, because it's gonna be a tight fit. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Do you understand how to do it? Do you know what backwards is? Do you know how like, to push it the other way? Do you understand? Do I know what backwards is? <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be the most insulting question you've ever asked me. Do you know what backwards is? <laughs> Lily, oh, you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I keep on saying very problematic things, so what you're watching is only one eighth of what actually has been said today. Truth. Um, okay. Ready? And we're not putting, wait, hold on. No, 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 nothing. Ready? One, two, three. We made butterflies. <laughs> this is the cool thing about these mariposa, is that when you put it on the wall, it's gonna cast a shadow and it's gonna look. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by shadow. Okay, okay. Right, look, look, look. Oh, well, let's just put it on the table. Look how it casts a shadow. See how there's a shadow behind it? <gasps> so it makes it look real. What? Soul. Soul. We did it. Hey, thank you for watching this episode. If you made it to the end. It makes a shadow. If you made it to the end, that means you're a real follower. Comment the secret word mariposa down below. M-A-R-I-P-O-S-A. -S and what will they get? Oh, a discount on Glowforge. You'll get that or we'll just like, we'll be like. Thank you. You're real fam. Thanks. Also, thank you Benson for the amazing suggestion. Yes, and shout it's, out. Oh, it's over there because we were doing dumb things. Shout out to Troy the Maker for me, thank think, you. helping me think about etching acrylic. And then also, uh, I got this idea for TikTok. <laughs> also, thank you butterflies for your service to our species. A moment of silence for butterflies. I don't know why I'm saluting. I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> salute Mary Okay, watch the next episode. Subscribe, share, do the little bell thing. Goodbye. Bye.